All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I've wanted to make this video for quite some time and with the release of the Western release, I should say, of Lost Ark just around the corner, I thought there'd be no better time to make this video. There's a lot of conversation and there has been a lot of conversation surrounding Lost Ark and the difficulty of the game. How hard is the end game content? Will it be welcoming to new players that haven't played the game before? We're jumping straight into technically tier three. Uh, there was that video that my friend Saint made we recently discussed on that interview that I did with him on my channel. Uh, the video was titled, How Hard Is Endgame Rating in Lost Ark? Something along those lines. And many people online reacted to that video. And when I talked to him about, when I talked to Saint about that video, he went out to say that that video was a mistake and that he regrets making the video because it may have scared some players away from the game and that the rating mechanics may seem too complex and it seems like uh, Fisher Price mechanics. Anyway, many of you know that I've been playing the game for quite some time now, and uh, it's been a game that I've really enjoyed over the past several months now. And with that, I've experienced a lot of the end game content that the game has to offer. I've completed all of the games that are currently available within the, within the progression tier of Russia, and I've also recently moved over to Korea and have begun playing over there. And my experience with the game... Uh, is always the same in that every time a new raid comes out or every time I go into something, everyone online or at least the people that would watch me on Twitch would say there's no way you'll clear that raid or good luck in that raid, uh, even though they have never actually done the raid themselves. And with that, it feels like a lot of gatekeeping that goes on. Um, you know, there's this whole idea I, when I was doing April, the recent raid. People in my chat were saying, like, wait till Final Fantasy players get a hold of this. Like, there's a lot of people take a lot of pride in knowing that their game is difficult. So today I want to talk about that, how difficult the game really is, and also to give you some insight on some of the end game systems. And then will it be confusing or overwhelming to new players? Well, first of all, what I would say is that Lost Ark, in a lot of cases, is a vanity based game. There's lots of vanity based achievements. Uh, hell mode difficulty raids where you can earn a title and a statue and then you can take it up another notch and decide to earn the beast roar title by doing helton hell mode vaulted without having a single player die throughout the entire two boss encounter um, there are other achievements that you can earn now recently where they've been trying to incentivize players to do some of the uh, more difficult raids in terms of hard mode april shed where if you complete the raid five times on normal, you earn a pet. If you complete it 10 times, you earn a different reward. And then if you do it on hard mode, you earn a different reward and so on, right? They, they're offering and incentivizing players to partake in these activities uh, because a lot of players actually don't do them. And the truth is, is it's not that the content is too difficult. It's that the content is too difficult to pug. And that's the case for a lot of games. If you've ever played World of Warcraft and raiding in, in that game, a lot of people don't do mythic raiding in World of Warcraft, right? Uh, because they don't have time to join a guild. They don't have time to sit like me and degen my life away and play for however many hours per day. And I totally get that, right? You got a job, you got little kiddos, you got whatever is going on. You don't have time to play like you used to. So you end up pugging and playing for a couple of hours per day. And in Lost Ark, it's no different. However, what I would say that's even more beneficial and more forgiving to the casual player that Lost Ark does or has to offer is that in these other games, in order to acquire your full tier set, for example, you may have to complete or finish the entire raid. And if you want to get your mythic raiding set, your entire tier set, you're going to have to complete or maybe kill the last boss of the raid in order to acquire that helmet, that trinket, that weapon. Well, in the case of Lost Ark, you craft your end game raid sets by collecting mats from these bosses. And every boss in the raid drops those mats. However, it's a cascading effect where you need, maybe the first boss drops two horns, feathers, chest pieces, whatever, plates, um, and the second boss drops four. You can still farm that end game raid set by just doing maybe the first couple of bosses, which is no different than in WoW, right? People may pug the first two bosses of a raid and that's where the pug ends because the rest of the bosses are too difficult. And that's why Lost Ark has then, has gone on at least in Korea to provide more additional cosmetics to incentivize players to partake in these activities and it's working. A lot of players are now going back to revisit these raids to try to earn those cosmetics because everyone knows that for a lot of people, cosmetics really are the true end game, whether it be getting a prestigious title, a prestigious mount, 
and so on. Now, one of the things that I do appreciate about the game and one of the reasons why I like the game is that although it is forgiving and welcoming to the casual player in that aspect, they do not remove or nerf these uh, harder raids. I mean, obviously they tune them, but I like the fact that the game does offer challenging content. It's one of the things that I enjoy partaking in. I like doing the most difficult content the game has to offer. It was exciting for me as a player, and even, and even if you're someone that doesn't partake in those activities, I think a lot of people appreciate uh, the idea that, hey, my game does have these very difficult raids. But with that is when you have all of this misinformation that it's you know, it's it's so difficult and good luck finishing the re these raids and, you know, WoW players stand no chance in these raids. WoW raids are easy because they have these add-ons and they tell you exactly what to do. And it's it's this whole cringe, cringe war of my game is harder than your game. And you see it with Final Fantasy and World of Warcraft during the race to World First. And it's going to be no different in Lost Ark. The truth is the people that are telling you this, very, very, very few of them have actually done the raids. I remember getting advice from somebody and then i asked them i was like you know what like what raids have you done just because i was generally curious and they had they were this guy was eons behind where i was at. i'm like well why are you giving me advice you know that's 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 what i realized so you know i don't like this idea of gatekeeping people by scaring them into saying you know how difficult the game really is i would say one of the flaws of the game is not the difficult content it's it's that one of the things that i'd like to see the game improve on is cutting down on some of the bloat i think the game does suffer from some bloat that will be overwhelming to a newer player uh, i think there's a little, there's too many currencies that exist in the game. And this is similar for World of Warcraft too. If you're a new player hopping into WoW today, there's too many currencies. Uh, there's too many mats and materials and, and, and it, it just becomes overwhelming. Your inventory instantly fills up. And in Lost Ark, it's very similar to that. I think they could combine a lot of the grenades and battle items and, into one item that do several things instead of needing several different grenades for different aspects of the game. Although it's nice to have those complexities, I think it is overwhelming for a new player. And even with uh, tripods and gems and engravings and gear sets, although they introduce them to you in a linear fashion, I think for a newer player, it could be overwhelming. And that's where I would say Lost Ark is an enthusiast game. That's the difficulty in terms of um, getting into the game is understanding and grasping all of that. When I got into the game, there was none of that. There was no materials online because there wasn't that much information surrounding the game at the time. And now there's so much of it that I think a lot of you will have a much easier time. And I've made several videos and provided resources for you guys. So you should check that out because I think it will be helpful for those new players getting into the game. But if you're somebody that has done competitive rating in another MMO, you will do just fine in Lost Ark. It will be a different rating experience. It'll be difficult for you because you're not used to the mechanics and you're not used to playing that style of gameplay, right? Maybe you've come from Final Fantasy or World of Warcraft. It's a different game. But over time, if you're a gamer, you'll do just fine. And if you're someone that has done more casual content in another MMO, you can expect similar results. However, in Lost Ark, you will be rewarded for that, okay? With that being said, I wanna make this very clear with the game coming out, uh, you know, the game's not going to be for everybody. It's not going to be for everybody, whether you don't like the difficult content the game has to offer. Maybe you do find the content too difficult early on in Tier 1 or Tier 2, because some of those Guardian raids, they're not easy. Maybe you don't like the over-the-head camera angle. Maybe you don't like the monetization of the game and the fact that you can buy gold and then buy mats with that, and that might upset you, right? There's tons of things about the game that you may not like, but there's a lot of things about the game that I personally do like, which is why I've been so vocal about my enjoyment in the game, because I think it's a great game for a lot of people that are looking for a new MMO, and it's free to play, so you've got really nothing to lose in giving it a shot. Now, with that being said, I do want to thank so many of you guys for being or have who have been so supportive of my channel this past year. My channel has grown a lot. My Twitch channel has grown a lot. Uh, some of my videos did so well that a lot of people <laughs> were saying that I was this this Amazon shill or this Smilegate shill because I was speaking so highly of Lost Ark. But it's just because I really liked the game. I, I, I wasn't paid to make those videos. <laughs> I just liked the game. But now because of those videos doing so well and so many people were supporting those, they did reach out to me to uh, partner with them for the launch of the game and their drop event on Twitch. So I'll be part of that. And I have a team uh, that I'll be partaking with or 
working alongside of for the launch of the game where we'll have like rewards and my team's pretty stacked and I'm sure you guys will hear more details about that when it does come out whenever you see this video. So thank you guys so much for that because it does feel pretty damn good. Okay, honestly, for me, I've been grinding, making videos and, and, and stuff like that for quite some time. And, you know, I remember I had to win a beta key for BFA so I could make videos for World of Warcraft from a Swifty giveaway because I couldn't get a beta key for BFA. And to go from that to this, uh, it feels pretty good, man. After just making a couple of videos and creating content now for this game, it feels really damn good. Also, thank you guys who have been supporting my YouTube channel as well. You know, I'm close to 100,000 subscribers and, um, you know, if you like my content, consider subscribing so I can get that like little play button thing so I can show that to my mom because she's always giving me crap for making YouTube videos. So that'd be cool to share that with her. Anyway, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. If you have any questions, you can check out my live stream somewhere here on the screen and I'd be more than willing to answer them. As always, I appreciate all of your time and I'll see you all in the next one.